So for instead of the lithium ion battery, I'll use a capacitor um, so that we can see the charging and discharging in real time. Um, so first I'll connect the, the capacitor to the battery terminals. Next I'll connect the solar to the solar terminals. And finally, I'll just I'll connect the beacon to the output terminals. As you can see, the beacon uh, light is flashing, which is indicating uh, that it's now broadcasting. Um, I also have a multimeter, um, which we will be used to, to monitor the voltage on the capacitor um, so that we can see it charge and discharge. Right now we're at 4.18 volts. Um, the board is pre-configured to charge a lithium polymer battery, uh, which has a termination voltage of uh, three volts. Um, so now I'll, I'll, I'll connect to the beacon uh, using my, my phone, um, using the Nordic uh, beacon app. Um, so right now I have the, the, I've detected the beacon and it's indicating that I'm, I'm really close or at the beacon. Um, and I've configured the app to show a picture of Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa uh, once, the be once the phone detects that the beacon has uh, gone out of uh, a, a small distance away from uh, physically from the beacon uh, or just near the beacon. So once, I, once the, the phone detected that it had moved uh, slightly away from the beacon, um, it shot up a picture of Mona Lisa. Um, and that's kind of the, the idea of the uh, beacons. Um, and they're very extremely low power consumption. If I cover up the, the solar panel, you can see the capacitor start to discharge. Uh, if I uncover the solar panel, the, the capacitor will charge back up. Um, so our solar is easily, in this environment, um, we're easily able to power uh, beacon applications.